is Monday, August 4th. That's the first Monday of the month and here on News 18 this morning. That means it is Mayor Monday. Joining us this morning is West Lafayette Mayor John Dennis. Mayor Dennis, always a pleasure Good having morning. you. Good morning. So the last time you were here, it was in November and a lot's happened in West Lafayette <laughs> since then. Let's talk about State Street redevelopment, the new master plan that mm -hmm. came out in May. Is anything going to change from what we saw in that master plan and what is the next step from here? Well, the master plan, the basic tenets of the master plan are going to remain consistent. Uh, obviously, when you start actually doing the project, when you start get the engineering done, you actually start doing the construction, there's going to be a lot of things that will probably change. That It won't be that significant, but it's going to be a little bit different. Than what and we did you like what plan. you saw in that plan? Oh, absolutely. The roundabouts, having pedestrian and bike areas, making the street two-way, and then including the ring road in that, that's going to be fantastic. And um, it's been a few months since you guys moved all your offices over to the police station mm -hmm. after the all the mold problems, mm -hmm. um, after the snow. But you guys also found some structure problems mm -hmm. as well in the building. Correct. Where does that stand and where do you guys see yourself moving in the next six months or a year or so? Well, structurally, the building actually is seeping moisture into the lower level, which is obviously feeding the mold problem. It's gotten considerably worse than when we were, in, when we were there a few months ago. The plan right now is to continue assessing the building, uh, looking at you know options uh, for us. Uh, there's no immediate plans to go anywhere. Uh, we have the different departments spread throughout the city within the Morton Center, within the fire department, and then again within the police department where we're located. But as it stands right now, we're looking at what's going to be the best thing to do. The building itself is probably going to be cost prohibitive to move back into it. Uh, to remediate the building, to get the mold out, to solve the moisture problems, to solve the foundation problems, that's probably going to be way too expensive. But for right now, we're just going to hold tight. We're going to figure out what's going to be the best option, and we're going to make sure whatever we choose to do isn't going to present a liability to our taxpayers. Would you say you guys adapted pretty well to this change? Yeah, that, that sort of. <laughs> I know for a fact right now I'm sort of crowding the police department out, so I'm sure that they'll be happy to get me out of there. But uh, overall, the citizens have sort of accepted having you know the city of West Lafayette staff separated throughout the city. Now looking ahead to 2015, you guys have outlined your budget already. 4% mm -hmm. increase over mm -hmm. last year due to annexation. Mm -hmm. You're going to add a police officer and maybe some fire services Correct. as well. Explain that. Well, the firefighters are actually going to be paid for by a grant. We we're going to bring in seven new firefighters to the city of West Lafayette. And the police department and, and you know, give credit to Chief Jason Domkowski, he actually is using the existing revenue to go ahead and add an additional police officer. And let's talk a little bit about um, lots of construction this summer, mm -hmm. just that time. You mentioned some changes over there at Navajo and Salisbury, some Correct. street signs. Correct. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a relief to the community, but we're just about done with the intersection of Navajo and Salisbury. And one of the things that people are going to notice when they start driving through that intersection is we have used some relatively contemporary icons to sort of indicate that the lane, the straight lane, the southbound lane and the northbound lane is to be shared with both, both bicycles and vehicles. What you'll see is you'll see basically three chevrons and then the icon of a bike. And what that means is that the bicycle is going to be shifting to the center lane to go straight. It used to be that there was some degree of confusion as to whether or not the bicycle should stay in the far right-hand lane. That could encounter a vehicle as it's turning, which could be problematic. But what this means is the bike will shift over, go to the straight lane, the southbound lane, and then go back to the bike lane as soon as it goes through the intersection. And that's what those three chevrons with a bike icon mean. And after this last winter, you guys had to move some money around to deal with all the plowing and mm -hmm. the street and the you know the street problems that we had. Mm -hmm. Looking ahead to this winter, will it affect anything going forward with how you guys handle a, another potentially bad winter? Well, they say that these severe winter come in pairs, so we are cautiously, I guess, optimistic that we're going to have enough revenue to handle the winter this coming season. Uh, what we've done is we obviously have a plan in the event of severe weather event, whether it be snow, whether it be wind, whether it be rain. We have a team that comes in, they're always on call. They come in and they handle the snows or the rain or whatever the situation may be. And we have the, the revenue budgeted to be able to handle that. Obviously in extremely exigent circumstances like we had this winter, we might have to go to our cash reserves to be able to go ahead and afford that. But we have healthy cash reserves, we have a healthy rainy day fund, so we're in a great financial position to be able to handle that. Good news out of West Lafayette. West Lafayette Mayor John Dennis, thank, thank you, you so much, much for joining for us me. this morning.